Let's take a look at implementing the grow member function for an unsorted set. What this does is it modifies the data representation so that it's using an array that's twice as big as the previous array. So what it needs to do is it needs to allocate a new array that's twice as big, copy over the elements from the old array into the new array, and then set the set to be pointing at the new array. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to work on this on your own before we look at it together. All right, so let's go ahead and implement this. The first thing we need to, we need to do is actually allocate our new array that's going to be twice as big. We won't actually store its address directly into the else variable yet because we still need access to the old array in order to copy elements out of it. So what we'll do is we'll create a local variable that's going to be pointing at the first element in our new array. We'll call it new array, and then we'll set it, we'll initialize it, to the result of invoking the new operator to construct a new array of size two times capacity. Then the next step will be to copy over the elements one by one from the old array into the new array. So we'll write a loop to do that. Now for the upper bound, we can either use else size or capacity. If grow is only invoked when the two are equal, then it doesn't matter which one we use. However, if grow ever gets called before the old array is full, then it'll actually be better to use else size as our upper bound because that way we'll avoid copying the junk values that are in the rest of the array. And then what we'll do is we'll copy over the elements one by one into the new array from the old array. Okay, we've copied over all of our values. Now what we need to do is we need to modify our representation to take into account that we've, uh, we've replaced the array with a bigger one. However, before we actually set the else pointer to be pointing at the first element of the new array, we wanna make sure that we reclaim the old array so that we're not leaking memory. So we'll go ahead and use the array deletion operator to delete our old array and then we'll set else to be pointing at the first element of our new array. And then one more thing that we need to do is we need to actually modify the capacity data member to reflect the fact that we now have an underlying array that has twice the capacity as before. So we'll go ahead and set capacity to be twice what it was before. And then we're done.